the critter, whatever critter it is, is done. Let's pray to God it's nothing that's going to rip our head off, okay? That would not be good. Welcome back, my little boobalas. I hope you are doing fantastic. Guys, we are getting back into something today we have not been into in a while, and that is a little seven days to die. Guys, honestly, there were a lot of reasons why I lost a little bit of my passion for seven days for a while. Um, but luckily, thanks to a few different things combined, I think I found that passion again. And um, so we're going to start a new series. This one is going to be the seven days to die after the apocalypse survival. Now, the reason I'm calling it that is because there's no zombies. The premise of this game is kind of like the After the Apocalypse Home Makeover series I had. You know, there's, it's years later, the zombies have died off. But now we have bandits and other survivors and animals and farming and taming and all of these things to do. Now, what I've done is put together, you know, a combination of mods that I thought would help make this interesting and fun for me. So, and I'll try to get a list of those in the description of this video, maybe the next one. I'm not sure when. And big shout out and huge thanks to um, Sphery and Scythe, two of the best modders in the community for helping me out with some of the issues I had getting some of the mechanics I wanted to work a certain way to work <laughs> they are incredibly awesome now guys while I said this is it this series is going to be with what was that was that my goats moving I think it is mm. I'll lock that door yeah it's my goats moving around in here yeah, in here we have Buster, and I think she's, yeah, Sally. And these are parts of a, a kind of a combined effort between Scythe and Sphery. Um, NPCs, I, like I said, I will get all of that information together for you guys, either this episode or the next. And that way you can go download all of these, pick and choose which mods you want to use, which ones you don't. Now, like I said, oh, here we go, guys. You can talk to these guys. You can have them just play around, guard, all kinds of things. Right now, I've got these guys set to just play around in here. And for some reason, though, she keeps butting that wall, and I keep having to repair it. Not sure what's going on with her. Now, guys, I am not the best at all in at building roofs and barns and things so that's kind of how my barn came out of course we've still got to paint it we've got some you know the finishing touches to put on it uh you know i started this as just kind of like a private thing for me to play and do and then i thought you know yeah i actually would like to do a series on this bring seven days back to my channel so that's why we're already on day four um i think uh oh, there we go i had my um goggles night vision goggles on these were another mod they are fantastic for at night but during the day they make things so harsh harshly bright but as i was saying you know while this one is going to be a series with the zombies off and just based on pure survival against bandits um starvation all kinds of different things over on my Twitch channel, I am going to be starting to stream seven days again. And on that one is where we will actually have the zombies on. So then I'm going to have, you know, the issue of the zombies to deal with along with the bandits, survivors, all the things I'm going to have in this one. So that one, I'm going to keep that. Hey. Hey. Something damaged my door. Hmm. But that one I'm going to keep exclusive to Twitch. So that's the deal on that. Now. 
let's see i think i had some things i needed to put up and this this was always one of my favorite pois from the compo pack um i'm modifying those four buildings right there to turn them into a nice little workshop then there's the house i'm gonna finish putting in um more wall around here where npcs things like that bandits can't jump over and set this up as a little community now one of the things that i had added onto this pack that i put together is a mod that prevents respawns once you clear a building so even when we go to start streaming the series over on twitch with the zombies on one of the things me and several in my community had always wanted to do was be able to take over a town clear it and it stay that way you know go go across the world restoring the world and we couldn't do that because you know it had all the respawns all the time and they would just tear everything up well we're going to be able to do that now we, you know that doesn't come into play so much in this series but over on the twitch series it will i think that's going to be a lot of fun and i don't know if i'm going to be doing that series like a solo type thing or if i'm going to have a server with certain members of my community playing with me we'll just have to kind of see because we've all got a lot going on right now so i don't know how you know if we'll be able to make schedules kind of mesh up but we'll see how that goes now however on here though oh wrong button on here though we are going to be going across the map restoring towns as well it just won't be you know won't have the zombie issue to worry about but however like i said there's going to be the bandits to worry about things like that so we'll kind of see how this goes see if you guys are interested in this you know all that kind of good stuff all right like i said i've been working on this hello little chicken now the biggest problem i have been finding is that i'm having issues finding um deer to kill for the meat and for the hide the hides i have i actually got from um uh da, 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 da. forges <laughs> destroyed forges i found and broke down uh the meat and the stews and stuff i've got i got from looting different stores and buildings so now this first episode is probably like i said just going to be giving you guys a rundown of what we're going to be doing here and i'm going to kind of go around our little town here this will be our first town to restore so we're going to have buku's work to do now if you guys enjoy this series if we keep it going this series could last a very long time because this is a 14k map that i generated with nitrogen so we have an extremely large world to work our way across restoring so you know if all goes well like i said you guys like it i keep enjoying it well we could be in this world for quite a while to come so you guys let me know if you enjoy it. let me know what your thoughts are on this concept for this kind of series now like i said as far as if you want to see the version with the zombies on you'll have to come pay me a visit over on twitch and say howdy and i'm not sure what day i'm going to get to start that on twitch um hopefully this week or next week we're going to see and i haven't decided exactly which days yet this series will be going up on the channel each week I, well i'm probably only going to do it mm, i don't know i don't know if i'm going to do it once a week or once every other week i still got to work those details out but i wanted to go ahead and jump in here while it's still all, all on my mind now i was in here earlier i think i was in here maybe i was hmm. i thought i was do a little bit of looting and this is part of our farm farm life mod and i haven't figured out exactly what to do with this yet but animal workstation required hmm. okay let's see i 
I don't see anything about animal workstation listed here. Hmm. Maybe it's just listed as workstation? Hmm. Okay, do I have... Yeah, I do. Now, I know part of farm life you have to... I don't remember where it is. Yeah. I know you have to have living off the land, but I think you have to advance it so far before you unlock parts of farm life. A lot of these mods and modlets I put on here are ones I've never tried before, so I'm really going to be learning these along with you guys. Okay, now let's go back over here and see if that... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything, but what are these, though? All you need is rotting flesh. I've got the rotting flesh, though. Okay, you need 35. What? All right. We're just going to find out what that's about, guys. I was planning on just kind of giving you guys a tour of the town um, in this episode, but now I'm curious. Now I'm extremely curious, so we're going to find out what this is about. Um, but, but, but where did I put it? I thought I put it over here. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, out here. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. Animal template hostile. That part makes me nervous. What is it going to give me if I do this? What's going to happen to me? Am I going to die? Is something going to kill me? Hmm. Maybe we try this one first. Oh, wow. That's going to take a while to craft. Okay, well, it's crafting. Let's go take a tour of the town. Kind of give you guys an idea of what my plans are here. All right, this building over here. I explored it on another map. That goat, she's still in there button the darn wall. What is wrong with her? And we'll loot, you know, along the way a few things here and there. But this POI over here is really neat. Um, again, part of the compo pack. And when I went through this building on the other map, I did it with Zombie Zone. So let me just warn you guys. If you are planning to go through this building at any point with the Zombie Zone, you better come prepared. Yeah, that's part of why right there. Beware of dogs. Um, da, 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 da. I'm trying to remember how I got in the last time because I really don't want to break any of this. I want to leave that. My plans are with this building. Um, since we're going to be making this like, you know, rebuilt civiliza civilization, blah, blah, blah. Words hard. But we're going to make this kind of like our government building. This is going to be kind of like our courthouse, you know, and we'll do similar stuff to this with each town. Each town, we're going to set up government buildings, um, restaurants, parks, you know, different things like that. Oh, crap. All right. I forgot. Well, that's crafting up. Mm. Can't craft anything else. But yeah, we're gonna, I want to make each area look, I want it to be obvious that these were settlements that were set up in the, the heat and the panic of an apocalypse, but that now they're slowly being brought up. So we're gonna kind of try to combine those elements. Hopefully it'll come out good, fingers crossed. And if you guys hear me swallowing, I'm so sorry. I've had a little bit of a sore throat the past couple days. I'm not sure why. Yeah, this was the way in. Now, like I said, with zombies on, 
just getting past this area is a nightmare. Fair warning, you've been told. That's all I'm going to tell you. And it doesn't get a whole lot easier from there. Hmm. Well, we're going to need to pick a lot of these things up anyway. Because they're not going to really be needed. The bandits and the raiders. We have raiders as well. Um, of course, the bandits will be like just, you know, one that will come after you. Uh, raiders, there'll be three, two or three come together to raid you, your base, whatever. Um, and we have whispers. Scythe was kind enough to give us whispers in this. I've already had Alpha attack me once. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think I've got the balance on the survivors and the good animals versus the bad animals and um the good npcs versus the bad ones basically uh i think i've got it balanced out i think i've got us a, a good mix but you know this is something i'm still playing around with so if i find out you know if i see as we go that i don't it's easy enough to adjust without having to restart the game so we should be okay should be okay now this particular map i tried to generate it almost to be a little bit similar to what some of the a15 maps were i loved a15 i did and um i kind of liked the way the towns were spread out a little more on there i really enjoyed that but sometimes they were you know too far apart and a16 oh my lord Mm, A16, I remember traveling for days, days in game and before I ever came across anything. So, you know, I wanted a little bit of that separation between communities on here. Um, so that's kind of how I tried to set the map up and generate it. I think it came out fairly well. I'm hoping. All right, here we go. Mm. Let's say I thought I had a pick. Hey, yeah, this place is incredible. I love it. And, you know, even being, you know, boarded up and kind of run down, it is a really. There we go. Cut my um, goggles on so you guys can see. It is a really spectacular POI. So I can just imagine what it's going to be like fixed up and repurposed to be our government building. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Look at the detail they put into this. It's really nice. And it's just like a big maze of rooms. Like I said, I went through this with the zombies own and it was... Um, it was fun, but not pleasant. Does that make sense? <laughs> so, yeah. Nice pool. Treadmill. Yeah. They got it set up nice in here. But you guys saw how big this place is from the outside. Um, we're not going to go complete through it right now because it would take us quite, quite, quite a while. And I do want to take you guys and show you around other parts of the town and kind of discuss some plans for those areas but yeah this is gonna be a really I, th I just thought it had the look and feel of something that could be repurposed into a very nice government building so that's the plans with that okay how'd i get back out of here over here oh turn those goggles off oh they get they are really nice at night but like i said they make it really like harshly bright during the day and that is one thing i do need to figure out how to cut those down though because uh let's see here see and i've already sold some to my trader and you find them in loot quite a lot and i think that those are something that really should be a little more rare kind of like a rare find like when you find it it's like oh yeah you know Oh, hot weather. Great. And I'm going the wrong way, ain't I? Wait a minute. Am I? No, I was going the right way. 
it's been one of them days, y'all. It's been one of them days. And it's been a while since I got to record. I'm rusty. I forgot how to YouTube. I forgot how to YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> and guys, one of the things I thought about doing, you know, this has nothing to do with seven days. I just kind of want to throw this out there right now. Get your opinion. You guys know I have the series, the Mandy's World series. And, you know, for the most part, Mandy's World is supposed to be, you know, stuff going on in my life. Um, stuff I find interesting. Stuff like that. One of the things, I, well, there's actually two things I kind of want to add to that series. I, well, I don't know if I should add it to that series or make it something separate. I'm thinking just add it to that series, though. Um, Gray and I have been making out a list of abandoned places we want to explore um it, the catch with it is you know a lot of urban explorers they just go into places they don't ask permission we don't want to do that we want to try to be very respectful and get permission where we can uh, there's a few places we've already found we can get permission would that be something you guys would be interested in seeing and another thing i wanted to do is you know some youtube videos and things that i find interesting on youtube do like commentaries on those would those be something you guys would be interested in just throwing it out there let me know in the comments all right this i believe i believe this is part of combo pack as well and oh yeah i am burning up um what all do i have on hardly anything hmm not good i need to find a poncho or something but yeah this is like a factory and i have also gone through this you know in regular gameplay with the zombie zone this is a party L let me tell y'all that that it's like they are having one big party up in here and you're the main course you're just honor so if you come across this place be prepared for that too lot of loot in here a lot of interesting things so now this we've got i think we've got one other factory here in this town if i remember correctly i am trying to decide what kind of factory we should turn this into you guys kind of come up with ideas let me know what you think because you know like i said this is supposed to be something should we actually turn it back into a factory or should we keep it as like a cap campground like they've kind of got it now and just you know clean it up and organize it a little bit better you guys let me know what you think on that one and it does have a little bit of an upstairs there now I, i'm trying to remember i think it's a shotgun Masai we've got in this town i think and we've got that hotel over there. It is really neat and really interesting. We're not going to go through it right now. But yeah, I like that. That's part of the compo pack as well. we got some houses around that could be fixed up really nice, really pretty. And the more we start building and doing, the, the more we will end up with like bandits and whisperers and raiders coming through. So what's this over here? Oh, okay yeah 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 i remember this this is another part of the compo pack there there will be a lot of compo pack pois in here so just be aware of that oh i went in there earlier looking to see if they had a workbench if i remember right they did um where was it though i don't remember I don't remember. Hey, does that forge work? If not, no, it doesn't work. All right. Get some more hides. I got 25 more out of that. That that helps. I'm not sure why I'm not finding any deer, though. Definitely going to have to uh, go on a hunting trip very soon. Now, I know this one had a workbench. I swear it did. I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing it with one of the others. I must be because I'm not seeing one. 
Mm. Yeah, I must be confusing it with one of the others. Okay. On to the next place. And see, this is a nice, cute little park, but of course it's overgrown. So we're going to clean it up. Got a nice little gazebo in here. We're going to clean it up, fix it up real nice. Um, maybe put a fish pond out there, some things like that. Got this little trailer. I think if we clean this up, paint it, and do something with yard we could actually make it blend in really well with the rest of the town now here's where i'm not sure what we're gonna do because if any of you guys play seven days out for a while any well any length of time then you know that there's a bunker down there see those spikes mm -hmm. not going down there yet as a matter of fact, let me put some over that in case any animals or NPCs wander through. Don't want them falling down there. What do we do with the bunker, guys? What can we turn it into? Now, over here, we've got a small Shamway store. I went in here earlier. Got some stews and things out of here. But, if I remember correctly... I'm trying to remember... Yeah. There is something down here as well. I'm just going to do what. This is going to take a minute, guys. So, uh, let's, uh, speed it up. Alright, guys. We are in here we go what do we got down here i don't know why i'm creeping i know the zombies aren't in here <laughs> okay we got some supplies let's see here let's get this loot while we're here i wasn't planning on doing a whole lot of loot in this episode just a little here and there but that's all right and as we loot the garbage and stuff, of course, we're going to clean it up. Because, you know, the whole point is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy Mary, Mother God, that gave me a heart attack. Oh, my Lord. I was not expecting that. And what was in that one? Bees. We got bees. I know the whole point is to clean up and restore this town, so... We'll be, of course, cleaning up all the trash, all that stuff. What do we got in here? Nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. Okay. Holy crap. Why did that just... Oh my god. It's the game getting even with me for not having the zombies on that's what it is. They're, they're trying to get even with me. Heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. Alright, let's get rid of you. There's some trash here. Yeah, guys, see. Alright, you see how many I've got now. Those really do need to be a bit rarer. I probably need to go into the config files and make some adjustments on that. Alrighty. What we could do with this one is once we get some uh, human NPCs in, turn this into like their little apartment below the store. You know, make, make them like the shopkeeper. I think that would be pretty neat. And we'll loot all the rest of this later. Shut that back up. How are we looking on our animal? Yeah, we got a little while to go, guys. We got a little while to go. And this video is already longer than I had really intended on it to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to run over and I'm going to try to... I'm just going to run through the town. You guys can kind of catch glimpses here and there of what all we're going to be working with. Uh, let's see if we did have a factory. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was the cracker book I was thinking of. But... Hmm... 
And yeah, we have a nice big cracker book here. I have not gone through it yet. We will do that together on camera at some point so you guys can see what I get out of there. Let's see here. Um, hmm. I could have swore we had a factory in this town. Maybe we didn't. Maybe I was thinking of something else. I did try several maps before I settled on this one. So it may have been on another map. And I'm just thinking it was this one. That's very possible. And we've got something similar to where we've set up camp at over there. It's just a little smaller and laid out a little different. Hey. What do we got? I can sell it at the trader. I can sell it at the trader. Sorry, dear. You have to go. Mm. Let's in here real fast. What's up, back? Okay, that's just the way into here. Oh, and I put on um, Sferi's Take and Replace, which allows you to take these off and then be able to use them again later if you so choose. I really like it. Uh, also allows you to open uh, crates and things without having to beat and let a lot of noise and attract the zombies. So that's a nice thing. I wonder what this, I think that is a church and not a house, like, where I'm set up at is. Where I'm set up, it's actually a house. Yeah, this is a church. So, yeah, this will be a nice thing to have in our little community on here. Once we start, like I said, getting some human stuff in. All right, let's keep circling around the town a little bit. I think we're actually at the end of town. What do we got back there, though? Let's go take a look. I know we had some little smaller POIs kind of on the outskirts. Uh, we will probably make use of those, those as well. I'm not sure yet. We got some towers. What is this? Water... <gasps> Yeah, we got a water treatment plant. Uh, looks like storage over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, getting a little horse. Yeah, we've got storage over here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Mm. Yeah, even my voice doesn't know how to YouTube anymore. It's going, no, I don't want to talk. And yeah, we've got, we've got an interesting little town here. And like I said, we have a 14K map to go across and do all kinds of things with. So whatever POIs and things we don't have in this town, I'm sure the next town's going to have it. And we want to be able to give each town its kind of own, own feel and own personality. So, okay. And this will be a nice little cabin to set somebody up in once we start getting some humans in. Alright guys, we've kind of looped back around here. Let's see how much longer. Still got a while to go. Alright guys, to keep this video from being extensively long, I am going to just bring you guys back once we have the animal crafted up and we'll see what it is see you guys in a bit okay guys our animal here is almost done but i remembered something while i was waiting um you know we were talking about the farm life earlier and trying to figure out you know what we needed to do to get into it i remembered when i first started this was with all my starting gear so what does it do Okay, recipes. Farm life expanded. 
No description with it. Hmm. Well, let's craft. And we still have about three more minutes before the critter, whatever critter it is, is done. Let's pray to God it's nothing that's going to rip our head off, okay? That would not be good. And here's the other question, though. Okay. Um, like uh, all of these. Well, like this one, hostile. Okay, I bet I know what these are part of. I had actually installed a mod, um, I think it was by Valmere. But it was for animals to put in as like decorations for farms and POIs and things. I bet that is what that is part of. I bet that is not a part of farm, li farm life at all. I'm pretty sure it's not actually. I bet that's what that is. So it shouldn't, whatever it is, it should not mur murder us. That would be, you know, awesome if it didn't. <laughs> now, it's done got dark here. Uh, there we go. Shed a little light on the subject. While we're waiting those last couple of minutes for this critter to finish cooking. This is the house. Um, I think we've got a lot a whole lot of potential here to work with now one thing about this particular poi guys not just the house but the, the whole poi i'm not really sure if it fits with the feel of this particular town so what we may have to do is uh maybe do some painting and modifications to kind of make it you know blend in just a little bit better i don't know what what's your guys opinion on that situation have to go ahead and go back in the barn back there and put our goats on stake because Sally just is continually butting the wall. I'm not sure why she's doing that. Buster's not. He's just kind of hanging out chilling, but she just kept butting the wall like she is mad at it. You can kind of see him through there just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, uh, and earlier, guys, I locked, if you'll notice, I locked and unlocked the um, barn door. That is because some NPCs can open doors. The animals are not supposed to, but I did have one that was a little bit glitchy and weird on another map I tried. And it was a goat, and she just kept continually opening and shutting the doors. And which I said something to Scythe about that. He was going to kind of, you know, look into that for me. And he said they really shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, that's fine. Whatever. No biggie. I am glad to have things in here to make the world feel more alive, you know. And to give us something to work toward as far as building towns and communities and restoring things. It just, to me, it adds so much to the game. And honestly, I think that might have been part of why I had lost a little bit of my passion for seven days before because, you know, I know Steam, I think, says I've got something like 3,000 hours in the game, but that's not counting modded versions that didn't run through Steam. Um, like some of the old starvation copies I had did not run through Steam, you know, stuff like that. So, technically, I've probably got about 4,000, 5,000 hours in the game. And it just got to a point where it was like, I don't want to keep just doing stuff to prepare for Horde Night. You know, I, I, I want more. And so, I think I found that. Okay. Oh, all our stuff is done. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, um, you know what? We're going to go put... Oh, it's a deer. <laughs> and I was saying earlier, I couldn't find any deer. Can I set him down in here in the barn? And that's another thing I have to think about too. Um, some of the animals and the human NPCs will... They're in factions. And some will like each other, some will hate each other. So...
I hear goat bells ringing. I don't think it's these guys. I think we've got another goat here somewhere. Well, now we've got that nice deer over there. I'm hoping that um, the goats and stuff don't end up like attacking it. Because like I was saying, they're in factions and stuff. And some factions like each other, some don't. All of this, and I've noticed they, they will attack some different things and, you know, that being a part of a totally different mod that I'm not sure about. I don't know if they would attack it or not. I'm listening for that bell. That goat bell. Maybe it was one of their bells, but I don't think it was. Hmm. Well, alright guys. We have discovered what the um animal was now let's run back over in here and go in here where there's some light oh and these doors that one over there and this one these are a part of another mod um i really try to add some things on here that are going to be like quality of life give different options for building things like that so all right we have the farm life for dummies expanded Okay, open. The basics, animal feed. The basics, forming crops. Fish pellets and growing trees. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and read this one. Okay, it's going to give us a quest. Uh, gather materials, murky water, hay bale, sorghum, wheat. Find all the ingredients for animal feed. Okay, we'll accept that in next episode if we will get started on this. If I don't go ahead and do it off camera. If I do it off camera, then we will probably next episode go ahead and do the farming crops and get that quest knocked out on camera. So, either way, we've got some quests coming up. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Again, let me know if you guys like this concept. If it's something you want to see me continue. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. It is truly, truly appreciated. And guys, I'm going to get out of here for right now. But until next time, as always, keep reaching for the stars and aiming high. Do it every day. Make that conscious choice every day when you get up to do that. And you will be so very surprised by what you accomplish. All right, guys. Till next time. Catch y'all later. Bye, y'all. Where's that goat? I know I heard it. There's got to be a goat here somewhere. Here, goat, 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 goat. Here, goat, 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 goat.